I've tested and used every single set of AirPods that Apple has ever released, and while they're currently selling four different models, the AirPods 2, the 3s, the Pro 2s, and the AirPods Max, I can tell you for sure which ones you want to avoid buying for different use cases, whether you're buying them as a gift for someone else or simply for yourself. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking about waiting for the AirPods 4 or the AirPods Pro 3, but you probably shouldn't because we just got some major leaks from Mark Gurman, the most reliable Apple leaker out there, and it's not looking good. But before I explain when those are coming and what's the big deal about them, I want to go through each set of AirPods that Apple currently sells and share my thoughts on how they sound, how much value you'll get out of them, and also how good of a gift they'll be for somebody else. Starting off with the AirPods 2, this is the first pair that I've ever purchased and they're currently on sale for only 90 bucks on Amazon, which is actually crazy good and you can still order them in time for Christmas using the link below. Now these are obviously the oldest pair out of the lineup, now being almost five years old, which means that the tech is now getting a little bit outdated, lacking a bunch of the new features like spatial audio, adaptive EQ, sweat and water resistance, and more. They have the least amount of battery life with five hours on the buds and 24 hours total with the charging case, which does support wireless charging, but not with MagSafe. And even though they're only 90 bucks, I honestly would not recommend these if you're buying it for yourself or as a gift for somebody else for a couple of different reasons. First of all, they still use the classic long stem design, which is getting a bit outdated, making it obvious that you have almost five year old AirPods heading into 2024, especially with the double tap design that isn't always reliable. So don't expect your gift recipient to be too joyful about getting these, since all of the other AirPods have the new short stem design. But if you're a baller on a budget and you're getting these as a gift for someone like your kids, without breaking the bank, these are of course a much better buy than some random pair of Bluetooth earbuds. They're AirPods, so they're still incredibly reliable in terms of Bluetooth pairing and all the other software features that you get with iOS. However, they honestly don't sound that great, especially compared to many other options out on the market right now with newer tech and newer speaker drivers. They lack bass and the highs just aren't that clear and crisp, and turning them up to the max, they get very loud, but they're just blaring into your ears, so you almost have to turn them down to get better sound quality. They just don't sound great, so you're really just paying for the reliability and for other people to see that you have AirPods in your ears. Now moving on to the AirPods 3, these ones are where Apple worked some crazy magic because unlike the AirPods 2, they sound incredible, just as good as the original AirPods Pro, but without the sealed in-ear tip design, which is known to increase the bass reproduction. They're definitely a bit more pricey for 140 bucks on Amazon right now, so they're a bit more than 50% more expensive, but I would argue that they're definitely worth the extra price, especially if you're buying them for yourself or as a gift. These ones come with a modern looking case that supports MagSafe wireless charging and has up to a total of 30 hours of battery life with six hours for the buds themselves. And with the short stem design, they also have the force touch sensor, which you squeeze to control your audio, which works very, very well. And these are the ones that you'd want to be in your ears because of that really nice new design. And any gift recipient would be more than happy to get these due to the design alone. They're sweat and water resistant with spatial audio, adaptive EQ, and more reliable skin detect sensors for auto pausing when you take them out of your ears. They're just a lot better overall, and the sound quality is incredible for the price, now beating out many other options on the market at that price point. So these are a definite buy for $140, on Amazon. And now before I get into the AirPods Pro 2, I first gotta talk about the AirPods Max. 
These ones are currently 450 bucks on Amazon, so they're $100 off, which is the same price that I bought my personal pair back in early 2022, a little over a year after their initial release date. At first, these things absolutely blew my mind with the incredible sound quality and the very wide and open sound stage, which gave them a very unique sound with incredible bass. The noise cancellation is also top notch, beating out the best of the competition like the ones from Sony. However, I found that I didn't really use them that often because first of all, they're much larger, so you can't carry them around everywhere like you can with AirPods that fit into your pocket, so they just weren't being used as much. They ended up just sitting on my bookshelf for weeks at a time as I would honestly forget about them, which might just be a personal problem, but you've gotta admit that you have to be pretty bold to walk around town or anywhere else with these on your head, unless you're into that sort of thing compared to the subtle AirPods. So to be completely honest, I would not recommend these as a gift for others because first of all, they're crazy expensive and they probably won't get as much use out of them compared to a regular set of AirPods. And even for personal use, I would not get these because they're now three years old and the tech is starting to get outdated because they still have the lightning connector for $450, which is now being replaced with USB-C, which is on the new iPhones. They still have Bluetooth 5.0 and they do not support lossless audio using a cable. But the biggest problem happened when the AirPods Pro 2 came out. So let's jump into that. I don't know how Apple did it, but they managed to make the AirPods Pro 2 sound almost as good as the AirPods Max in terms of sound quality. Yes, the bass isn't as good as well as the soundstage, but they're almost there, which means that I don't really have much of a reason to pick up my AirPods Max anymore. The new AirPods Pro 2 sound absolutely incredible and surprisingly so much better than the original AirPods Pro with very clear vocals, highs, and much improved bass. They're currently $60 off on Amazon for the brand new USB-C port model, so they're about $190, which is expensive, but honestly, such a great discount that I would recommend anybody looking at the AirPods 3 to spend the extra 50 bucks because these are much better in every single way. They use a sealed ear tip design with different tip sizes for the perfect seal, giving you great bass reproduction. And they also have this special pressure release vent that equalizes the pressure inside and outside of your ears so you don't feel like your ears are plugged all the time. And they have incredible noise cancellation and transparency modes, so you can choose to hear people around you or have it cancel sold and it also comes with the new adaptive audio mode, which filters loud sounds out automatically in real time, as well as conversation awareness to switch modes automatically. These have the new H2 chip, which is extremely reliable with Bluetooth 5.3 to match modern iPhones, and the new AirPods Pro 2 case supports MagSafe charging, and it comes with built-in speakers so you can more easily find them when they get lost. These ones are hands down the best ones to buy right now and well worth the $190 on Amazon for the sound quality, which is so good, they beat out most of what's on the market right now, but also while getting all of the iOS features, which is their biggest advantage over everything else. And if you're thinking about holding off for the new AirPods 4 or AirPods Pro 3 models, don't, because according to Mark Gurman, the fours aren't coming until the end of 2024 alongside the AirPods Max 2, and the AirPods Pro 3s aren't coming until 2025, so there's really no point to wait any longer to buy. So with that said, I'm gonna have links to each one of these AirPods sales in the description below, and if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe above and check out our AirPods reviews right over there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.